this spacewalk tomorrow gets approved for two of our astronauts. Uh, again, they'll be looking to replace that uh, pump and flow control system, or uh, should that not be the source of the leak, look to uh, investigate some of the internal plumbing up yesterday. Uh, ammonia used to cool all of the station's power channels, uh, this one in particular, the 2B channel. Uh, it's given its location, uh, Chris Cassidy and Tom Marshburn already uh, veteran spacewalkers having uh, three spacewalks apiece on a previous uh, spaceflight STS-127, the two of them even working tandem for two of those, uh, very familiar with the areas. They were out there uh, back during that shuttle flight, uh, replacing a number of batteries for the station. Uh, so chosen for this spacewalk, they will uh, continue to prepare their suits uh, should they walk tomorrow. However, the, uh, the station continues to operate normally otherwise uh, as this uh, ammonia continues to slowly deplete from the, uh, the power channel uh, identified as the 2B power channel. Uh, the thermal systems uh, and the coolant uh, thermal uh, system controllers here in Mission Control Houston are uh, gradually or seamlessly uh, transferring all of the systems on that 2B power uh, loop over to the 2A, uh, making sure that there are no uh, impacts to station systems. Again, the crew. All right, it's tethered to you. Search of the airlock. On a day like today, it's really impressive to see what uh, the NASA Family Mission Control Center, Johnson Space Center, can accomplish in such short notice. We may not have found exactly the smoking gun, but uh, to pull off what this team did yesterday and today and working um, practically 48 straight hours is a remarkable effort on everybody's behalf. And for NASA family that did it, in particular with EBA training, we spend a lot of time at the NBL. And the NBL is as much a part of the success here in Spacewalks as anything else. And the NBL family sadly lost a longtime member earlier this week, Mark Gibbs. And it's a tragic uh, thing for all of us. And it puts things in perspective as we come out here and execute and folks arm us with the material to execute, and uh, it's those folks that uh, are here in spirit with us. Mark Gibbs leaves behind a wife and a daughter, and our hearts go out to them. Um, nothing that I or we can say make it any better, but rest in peace, Mark.